Yo, 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 welcome back guys to First Hand Effects, the home of blues. Uh, today guys, I'm going to talk about a very, uh, very powerful tool uh, used to uh, take your reversal trades. Usually uh, we have so many, many reversal patterns, but today uh, I'm going to first talk about the double top and the double bottom pattern, okay? <laughs> So if you're new to my channel, guys, smash that subscribe button and smash that like button. Please stick around, guys, and I will appreciate. And don't be a manifesto. Don't run. Stick around, guys, and enjoy the course. It's going to be lit, guys. Okay. So let's get started, guys. So first things first, let's now talk about we have a double top and a double bottom, okay? So as an introduction, the double bottom pattern, we all... Uh, which is just a w shape is a bullish reversal formation on the candlestick chart though it can also be visible on the bar and even line charts it is also conveyed as a mirror of the double but uh, double top pattern called the m shape which is a bearish reversal pattern all right so in other words this is what i'm talking about we have a double bottom which is just an m like this all right that's called a double bottom then uh, double top is just the opposite of this. It's a mirror, an M shape, just like that, an M shape like that. Okay. So, um, of course, the pattern can also relate to the trader's psychology, and it's best suited for analyzing the intermediate to long, longer term view of market. But the part is uh, the best part is they work exceptionally well in a forex market. All right. So, let's continue. So what's a, a double bottom? I just told you the double uh, bottom pattern forms when the two price bottoms are positioned at relatively the same level while a neckline acts as a resistance. This pattern shows up at the end of a downtrend and signal is reversal. Okay, so let's let me explain this guys. Okay, so like I say, maybe price um, So the double bottom, like I say, this position relative at the same level while a neckline reacts as a resistance. This pattern shows up at the end of a downtrend and signals its reversal. Okay. So let's say um the price was moving down. Now this is a downtrend. So when uh how do you know that the price now wants to start reversing? So this is what I'm talking about. We have price will push up then push down then now this so this is now when i draw this now this is called the neckline now that's the neckline so as you can see this is now a double bottom all right this is a double bottom so this is just a signal that now the the the, the downtrend is coming to an end and now price is ready to push up back all right all right, so typically traders will usually wait for the price to break above the neckline to go for long position. Exactly. So you, most of the time, one has to wait for a break above this neckline over here, this zone, before taking that buy or taking a long position. But still, you should only go for long if you are confident because there are chances they'll, uh, you, where you'll end up trading against the trend. Okay. So the key to using a double bottom pattern is the longer the duration between the two lows in the pattern, the greater the probability that the chart will will be successful. Okay, the greater, I mean, the the longer these durations over here and over here, okay, will be a great signal for a successful trade. That also translates to the fact that this technical analysis indicator is more suitable for long term trade as it supports the exploitation of recurring patterns guys still there are mistakes you should avoid for more accurate analysis that said when a double bottom is used correctly the results are quite impressive but it can also be de determined de it can also be detrimental when you are not careful so how does it work and how do you even spot them all right so let's continue so how can we uh, identify this double bottom pattern to determine a double bottom is not as difficult once you lay hold on to the fundamental it is one of those patterns that shows up regularly visible and provides a decent signal 
the pattern is differentiated with its three main characteristics guys so please 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 guys uh be keen over here so we have the first low this is when the price bounces back to the first i mean for the first time the first low okay so as you can say this is now price uh let me let me draw that once again so let's say price uh price was trending down like this okay but then now we want to identify this is uh, the first low when the price bounces back for the first time so this is what i'm talking about this the price will go up okay but then you see we have another bounce okay so that's the first nini the first um bounce okay that's the first low so we have this is a new high but then this is a low then we have the second low this is the sec the second price rejection okay let's go now like i said this is a neckline okay then ah okay now this is a neckline okay that is a temporary reason that forms between the bottoms right so let's go now here the market uh, so this is the market psychology behind this formation for the first low during the first low the market rebounds and creates a swing low you may think that it's a common retracement showing up in a downtrend but then we have a neckline during uh, which uh, forms during a retracement and the price reaches a point of resistance and then goes back to retest the newly formed support again this is now uh, the support that I'm talking about guys is over here um, let me draw this boom now that's a support okay so when we talk about the second low the bears are eager to see whether the first bottom provides enough support over here this one does it support uh, is that okay let me sorry about that with the drawing tool all right this over here okay so the bears will ask themselves a question does this neckline i mean does this support second low uh, provides enough support to the first one over here so this one over here this is the second low okay so bears are eager to see whether the first bottom this first bottom uh, provides enough support if the price breaks below the first low we don't have a double bottom anymore however if the second um, bearish attempt fails near the support formed by the first low then we can observe the pattern clearly still it's too early to enter the market right okay so we have a break of a neckline so what happens when the price breaks this neckline over here so when the price breaks the neckline um this neckline over here so what happens okay once the market rejects the second low as well the price is rebounding again if it manages to break above the neckline which we previously defined as a resistance then uh, uh the, the traders will be interested in going long as bulls are in control from now on that's it that's how clear and straightforward the double bottom pattern is okay but then i can also um this is just uh so uh how to trade a double bottom guys but then i also have my uh sniper entry that i usually talk about and usually use to take my trades when i see the double bottom and the double top okay so instead of waiting for this neckline to be broken guys okay i usually wait after seeing let me let me delete this after seeing just this and uh, seeing some rejections guys i usually wait for a bullish candlestick to engulf this one from then i take that by entry over here boom then i can target my first take profit should be here boom then my stop loss usually below the previous uh, week or support there that's how i end the market okay so um boom and then if it breaks then wait for a retest before going up all right okay so how to use um we've already uh we've already um talked about that double bottom thing so uh we have the breakout techniques when trading the double bottom most traders will enter the market right after the price break above the neckline but you can try a different 
approach that i've just showed you guys instead of waiting for a clear breakout to form you can stay calm and watch the market a bit the price can uh, potentially reverse lower right after breaking above the neckline you want to see visible strength from bulls instead of hesitation so here's how you can proceed just first first things first you need to identify a, a double bottom pattern information then let the price action break above the neckline guys over here or wait for a regional pullback that's what i just talked about just wait for this pullback um maybe the chain of range candlestick just wait for that engulfing candlestick and go long when the price breaks the swing high we coincide with the neckline that is after seeing the bulls are in control with that engulfing barbozu candlestick in other words you should not hurry to open the buy order when the price is breaking above the neckline but instead wait to see whether there's a pullback and this way you're making sure that when you're entering the market bulls are strong enough okay so you can treat the double bottom whenever you spot it especially when exist existing bearish trend uh reach the over oversold level for this you can employ technical analysis okay all right a good uh note is that uh the two lows might uh, not always be at the same level more often the second bottom might go lower as bears try harder to break below the previous low but if the price man manages to bounce back from the second low the pattern remains valid and is worthy of your consideration guys all right guys so um please be wary that sometimes when such a uh, pattern shows up bears are trapped as they go short right after the price breaks below the first low that is signaling bulls because bears are demoralized when the price bounces back that's why i usually uh take my trades before uh, when i see that pattern wants to form i usually take my trade over here at least i can scalp up before uh, because maybe the the, the 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 market might not break that uh neckline those that's why i take my trade and then take my profit when the market reaches the neckline and wait and see if it breaks and uh, uh give me that clear pull pullback then that's when i'll take another buy and if it doesn't i don't do that okay all right so guys that was a double top i mean double bottom so now let's talk about the double top the reversal or the mirror of this okay so a double top is a bearish reversal pattern that signals the end of an uptrend it is formed by two price highs form at the same level and a neckline that acts as a local support traders will wait for the price to break below the neckline after which they open their short position all right like uh so literally this is what i mean now let's say price has been trending up okay now price want to start reversing okay so the first things first like uh like i said on the double uh, bottom thing now this usually what's happen price will go down then price will come back okay after that price will form that boom so we have a neckline over here that's a support and a resistance over there guys as you can see we have an m shape remember the double bottom is a w and then um double top is an m shape guys okay m all right so let's continue <clears throat> So how do we identify a double top pattern? You can observe double tops quite often, though some of them might not be ideal. The pattern consists of three main elements. We have the first high, uh, which is when the price reaches from the first time. The first high, we have this over here, okay? This one. Then we have the second high. This is the second price rejection, this one, okay? The first time price is here, that's the first time high, then another high, for price rejection then now a neckline over here which is uh, which is uh, a temporary support that appears between the high over here that's the support okay guys so how do we use a double top when the market reaches the overbought level it might face resistance and form the double top but pattern it starts with the first high when the price retreats until finding a local support okay at this time you can't detect the pattern but then after the first top the price pulls back until the support which is now the neckline 
and then bounces back to test the newly formed resistance again if the price can break above it it will form a second high that is when traders worry uh, wary of the trend and should get ready to short when the price breaks below the neckline okay all right so um let's remove this and uh, go back to practical so this is what has just happened for example now price has gone back to retest this uh, resistance usually uh, it is advisable for 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 now let's say bears to wait for a break below this neckline now pull back before going short all right but then i usually like i said before the same way i did uh, take my my trade on the on the uh double bottom this is how i usually take on the double top so i just wait for an engulfing candlestick that's my strategy okay just just wait for an engulfing candlestick guys over here but then uh if the candlestick has to engulf this previous candlestick on the left then it has to be bearish this time then i take that sell entry i just may stop over here okay then um first take profit should be there around now the support okay after that i take after the price maybe hits uh, my take profit i usually now stay away of the market and wait for to see what happens so if the price now breaks the the neckline i'll just wait for another pullback rejection and also another engulfing candlestick guys over here like this then take my second entry now confirming now that uh, the double top pattern has been formed and now the bears are now in control that's how i take my entries guys okay quite simple guys okay all right so um you can use the same breakout techniques as in the case with the double bottom but uh we now the inverted rules okay now there's this question guys so are double bottoms and double tops suitable for in trading yes of course the two patterns are universal and they work well in all markets even um maybe you are trading cryptocurrency you know apart from the market i mean the forex market these patterns still works guys okay so what the uh difference between the double top and the double bottom so there's no fundamental difference between the double top and the double bottom thing guys except that they are total opposite and in other words what's right for bulls in the case of a double bottom the same is true for bears in the case of double top as the latter is a bearish reversal signal okay the double top is made up of two highest position at relatively the same level and a neckline which at this time represent a local support when trading a uh, forex on a large time frame the approach for reach i mean for each of the two might differ as a double bottom should appear more often given that forex market is thriving and will be there <laughs> forever okay so what's the, what's the pros and uh, cons about these patterns the great thing about the pattern is that they are effective on multiple time frames be it the 15 minutes an hour four hour the daily both day traders swing traders and even position traders can use them they are also universal pattern that work well in stocks forex pairs commodities cryptocurrency and what have you just like any other technical pattern they have their metrics but it also comes the drawbacks the main disadvantage is that neither the double top or nor the double bottom can guarantee that the newly formed trend will consolidate for example in the double bottom case bears might find the courage to push price lower for the third time and even try to break below the support thus traders should use a great risk management tools like the stop loss all right remember guys i'm just always the champion of always using a stop loss okay so we have some mistake that you guys should avoid one of the main mistake of those who trade the double bottom is to go long immediately after the price breaks above the pattern snake line in this case if you're not cautious you might end up trading against a larger trend if the market is in the middle of a strong bearish move and forms a small double bottom pattern it will most likely ignore it and continue its general direction okay so to avoid this you should always be careful guys before you take the trades just wait and see what the market tells you um before entering the market just flow with the market we have the candlesticks guys and i will also make a video talking about the candlestick the japanese candlestick guys so 
uh, the risk management about this reversal is that well, while double tops and double bottoms are some of the most reliable chart patterns, they cannot guarantee trend reversals on no all location. To avoid significant losses that may affect your entire balance, you should apply this um, some basic techniques to mitigate your risk. The most crucial step is to place a stop loss order, which will reduce the potential loss if the price suddenly moves against you. Okay, so a stop loss should be. Uh, be set between the breakout um, that is maybe the neckline and the resistance in case of a double top or support in the case of a double bottom all right so to promote the consistency and focus on the long-term goals you should not use more than one percent of your balance per trade and that is one of the golden rules of risk management however if the market is volatile and you are attempted to hit the jackpot by going all in you might indeed be lucky for once you will not be guaranteed the same luck in the long run if such practice turns into a habit right so and uh, then now we have the closing thoughts the double bo tops and the uh, double bottom are some convenient and reliable chart patterns guys yet the rest of successful re really depends on your ability to convert their signal into successful trades so and to improve your trading skills with this chart information you can start by practicing on a demo account guys just before using this strategy always use um the demo before putting in the real money guys all right so don't forget to keep an eye on the technical indicators especially uh those measuring the overbought and oversold levels all right okay so now um let's uh let's check guys some of the patterns in the real real forex market guys okay so currently i'm um, in this trade i mean this trade we have the Aussie against the dollar so this is now what i'm talking about okay we have a certain bottom over here first bottom then the second bottom over here, over here all right so like i said before that the price has now formed new low all right then came back from the second low before now trying to um see if it can break this neckline all right so usually the best thing is to wait for that price to push up, wait for a retest for, to the neckline and rejection before going in. But then remember my strategy, guys, like I said before, I just, um, when I see this uh, double bottom now, my strategy, so I just wait for an engulfing candlestick. Like we have this engulfing candlestick over here. We have this bullish candlestick over here uh, that engulfed this one. That's why I took this trade. So currently I'm now, I'm still at a drawdown. But I'm an anticipating now the price going to um to retail I mean to see if it can break this neckline which now a resistance before confirming this uh, double bottom thing. But then I don't uh usually wait for I mean I just don't want to to waste this movement uh, before seeing maybe price breaking. So when the when the price is up, I mean when the price is trying to go to retest that resistance, I want to flow with the price and maybe um lock in some profit before breaking or seem some rejection maybe to go down so that's just what's happening that's just one of the example of a double bottom thing we also have one over here guys we have this uh, now this is called a double top guys as you can see we have a new i mean the first high over here then now we have the second high over here all right so that's what happened so as you can see price first price went up then now price came back then went back to retest now the resistance then now like i said before i usually just don't waste the movement the move guys the moment i see an engulfing candlestick guys that's when i enter so as you all can see that price came in and then engulf we have this candlestick this candlestick engulf the previous one over here so that's great just taking your sell entry over there then now target the neckline or the support over there that's around 125 pips making a stop loss tighter above the previous resistance maybe 27 pips right before taking that sell entry as you can see guys price came and then broke that neckline or support guys before going it down but then after that break now for a great confirmation now we have this retest guys so you can see price broke this then price went now to take that retest before going down but then i was not there now 
this is why I usually like taking uh, these trades before I mean before the break of a neckline guys that's a support or a resistance so that's quite easy <laughs> that's the easiest way as how I deal or take my trades guys so um so I'll just let this trade uh, play out guys and um yeah so I hope uh, somebody learned something guys so if you're new to my channel once again smash the subscribe button and smash that like button guys please guys um like this video and share with your friends too guys so um until next time amigos <laughs> adios i hope somebody learned something and if you learned something guys smash that subscribe button mm -hmm, mm -hmm. at least that's how i will feel motivated when you smash that subscribe button and the like button guys so until next time guys adios amigos